Hello, so here I've got my uh, latest um, Lucky Dip Club subscription box and it's actually the third box in this series. Everyone seemed to really enjoy my first video with the unboxing of the, the first box so I wanted to go ahead and show you the, the latest one. Um, the only reason that I didn't do a video for the second one was I'd just moved house when uh, it was dispatched so I actually ended up going to my parents' house. So by the time I received it, everyone had already opened it and seen what was inside. So um, I thought it was a bit late to do one, but uh, I'm going straight ahead with doing this one after it's just arrived this morning. So this is the third box and it is called Pet Parade, which I was so excited about and I couldn't wait to see what was inside. So obviously when it arrived, it had some of the cute baker twine on it, which I've just taken off when I opened it. and. It's got a little sticker on this corner here which says uh, somebody loves you which I think is really cute so I'll go straight ahead and open up if you do want some more information on Lucky Dip Club you can watch my first video which has got all of the information on it but um, just for now just tell you that this is a rolling subscription that I have and it is £15 a box so this is what I've got this time round cute little card to start with that says you're perfect with a cute cat on it and the personal message as usual from the owner and um, she's actually addressed this one to me and to Mia who is um, a cat who she actually uh, just moved in um, to, to my house, um, well to my parents house before I moved out um, and she's, she's kind of taken over there we were advertising her as as found but um, no one came to claim her so she's uh, made herself quite at home so Leanna asked for people to let her know which was their favourite animal and the name of their pet so I told her that I liked cats and that we had a new cat called Mia so it's uh, it's really cute that she's addressed those all to to everyone and to their pets as well and as usual we've got the uh, tissue paper which is always matches really well with the colour scheme, I particularly like the pink simply because I'm a pink person. So in the box itself, as always the first thing I go for is the playing card and again cat themed which is really cute. If you are interested in what I do with the playing cards, I do keep them all. I um, I put them in my Filofax, I have a um, credit card, business card uh, insert for my Filofax, like a clear plastic one, so I put them all in there and they look really pretty so I will, um, when the next box comes that will be four and it will be full so I'll, uh, I'll share that uh, probably on my blog at some point. So obviously here's the, uh, the details of what comes in the box. So I'll just work my way down the list and show you what I've got. So this is the, so it's like I said this is the pet parade box and first of all is a handmade balloon brooch celebrating your pet or favourite animal which is just in here. I really love the uh, the effort that's gone to packaging each of the individual items. I think they always look really cute when you open up the box and it looks like a lot of time and effort's gone into preparing the packaging. So I'll just open up this one. So this is the handmade balloon brooch. And this is the brooch and on there that says hooray for Mia which I think is really cute and I think my mum will love that and possibly claim that one. Um, <laughs> I think it's really cute. I really love the font that's used. It's really fun. Um, I like the colour as well and a little uh, ribbon at the bottom there for the balloon string. Uh, really solid, really well, well made and uh, obviously personalised which um, must have taken her a long time to make a make a record of what everyone wanted on their on their balloons. So that's uh, that's the first item. And then let's go back to the list. Uh, a kitsch pair of candy animal low rise socks. So that's in this packet here. Again, all the colours coordinating really well, looking really cute. So. This is the pair of socks. I think these are absolutely adorable and they're such a such an unusual item to be put in. Really, every time I get a uh, get a box, 
I'm really impressed with the selection of items in it and the um, just the range of range of different things that she's managed to to find to put in. So I absolutely love these. I think these are so cute. Just a just a short pair of sort of novelty socks that I think are really cute and really unique. Uh, moving on, a DIY budgie bunting kit with jaunty bow ties. So this is the DIY kit. So every um, every box has a little uh, DIY project in it, and they're always really really simple ones, but really cute all the same. So I'll just um, I'll just open this so it's a bit easier for you to see what you get in it. So in here you get these budgie, uh, budgie pictures to cut out on some card and you get some little pegs and some baker's twine to uh, clip them onto which I think is really cute um, obviously now I've moved out and me and James have got our own house um, it's always really nice to find uh, ways to decorate it because we're renting we are limited as to what we can put up on the walls um, but I've got some bookcases and some cabinets that I like to hang things on so I think these will look really cute on there and as well as the budgies on the back of this page here I've got some bow ties as well that you can add and there are some little uh, sticky glue dots just to stick on the bow ties so I think they're, uh, they're really good and every time the uh, DIY projects are always really different as well so it's really uh, really good to see how, how creative she can be with so many different uh, different DIY projects. So, moving on again, we've got a Somebody Loves You greetings card. Um, anyone who reads my blog will know that I absolutely love stationery and uh, anything anyway, so I think <laughs> I think this is adorable. Um, I have quite a collection of cards that I've, I've bought and I'm saving for uh, special occasions so I think this one's really cute. Make a really nice Valentine's Day card or just a general uh, nice letter to chase someone up. Um, do a lot of snail mailing so that's definitely going to come in useful. Uh, possibly one of my favourite items in there, I think it's really cute and it's pink again so um, there's no surprises there. Um, so the next item is a vintage basket of kittens on a wooden pendant necklace. Um, uh, it's in here. Yeah, really cute little heart sticker on the packaging, and I love these little envelopes. I think they're so creative, and, and they look really effective, even though they're very simple. Uh, so this is the kitten. Let's see if I can get it closer at all. Let's see. Yeah, it's not going to focus very well at all. That. Um. Let's see. Can we get it there? Just about, there we go. So this is the kitten necklace. It's just a, it's got a very, um, it has got a very vintage design on it. And, um, oh, there we go. And there we go, it's easy for you to see now. Um, so it's got this, uh, very, it's very vintage, very, uh, very cute uh, cat design on it with two little kittens in a basket. Um, so this will be the second necklace that I've received in the boxes. Uh, the last one, I believe, had a necklace in it as well. I just think they're really, um, really cute, and they're always uh, these wooden ones. They're uh, very hard wearing, very uh, easy to uh, to wear with anything really, um, and I just think they're very really cute. Again, you can see, having told, uh, said that I like cats you can see that there is um, especially with the socks and the necklace definitely a very obvious cat theme going on which brings me to the last item as well which is a trio of cat parcel tags uh, in here just got some of these little labels here that are cut in cat shapes and there's also some string there to uh, to attach them to parcels or letters or anything. I think these would also look really cute sort of hung, hung up uh, possibly on my bookcase. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do with those yet but I think they're really cute and uh, I love the pastel colours of them as well again coordinating really well with the theme. 
So that's all of the items that I've got in there. I'll just uh, just recap those for you. Again, another little uh, little card as well. I keep collect I keep collecting these because I think every designer that they that's uh, I've had so far is really cute and really unique and a lot, obviously a lot of time and effort has gone into those and I love to collect those as well and keep those all together. So just to recap, we've got the uh, personalised wooden brooch, we've got the socks there and there's the budgie DIY kit and a couple of bits there as well. Um, there is the Somebody Loves You card, um, the cat necklace, and the cat tags, and obviously playing card as well. Uh, I think seeing which playing card I've got is always um, <laughs> that's the first uh, first thing I look for actually in the box. I love to see which um, which playing card I've got because they're always such. Uh, adorable designs um, and this actually looks quite like Mia coincidentally she is um, part Siamese but she's uh, she's all black so it's uh, that was by coincidence but um, definitely ended up with, uh, with a very much personalised box there so um, yeah, you can see here there's so there's one two three four five so you get the six items um, and the playing card so I love Oh, it's hard this this time to choose what my favourite item is. I do like the socks and I love the card. Um, this month is it's very very difficult. This month I was really excited about the uh, the pep red theme uh, anyway, so I knew it was going to be a tough one. Plus, there's a lot of pink going on in this box, so it's uh, I think it's possibly my favourite box so far. Last month's box was a tutti frutti themed box. Um, and I, like I said, I didn't do an unboxing video, but if people would like to see one, um, let me know and I can share the items with you in a video. Um, the next month's box is on the bottom of here. Um, so it is, I uh, think, Happy Ice Cream Parlour, um, which sounds really exciting. Um, I love, again, that probably sounds like a lot of pastel colours going on, a um, lot of fun, colourful, bright things, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what's in that. Every time a box arrives I just can't wait for the next one. Um, so like I said, this is £15. Uh, Leona has now opened an online shop where you can actually buy uh, past boxes or certain items from past boxes um, and you can just get to that from the Lucky Dip Club website, luckydipclub.com. Um, so if there are any particular items that you especially like from the past boxes you can get hold of those. Um, and yeah it's a, it's a good idea to have a look around there see what she's got available um if you are wanting to buy a box you can buy them as a one-off box uh i believe three month and six month subscriptions or do what i've done and just get a rolling subscription so i pay by direct debit every month for um the next box and one's automatically reserved for me because they do sell out really quickly uh, the next box is launched on the 1st of August, so if you want one you have to get there quick, otherwise they uh, they disappear pretty quickly, as is understandable because of all these really cute things that you come inside, that you get inside. Um, so that's it for now. Um, I have got some other unboxing videos planned coming up shortly. Um, sorry there's been a bit of a break in my filming, and like I said I've just moved house and it's been uh, chaos, I've just started a full-time job. And I'm still trying to finish my MA dissertation, so <laughs> hopefully things will start to settle down now and I will um, be able to get back into the habit of blogging and uh, filming more regularly. Um, so thank you for watching and I will see you soon.